Hi everyone, I'm Sulhan here from Uncle Salis Project. So what I've got here is a little print of something which I just designed. So what it is, this is actually an adapter which I'm going to use with my strokes to mount it onto my softbox which I use for the fluorescent tubes. Normally we will do our mobile shoots. Sometimes we need to use either the fluorescent bulbs or sometimes you need to use the strobe. So instead of having to bring two separate light boxes, so what I just struck in my mind to actually use one single um, light box which either I can use the fluorescent bulbs or I can use the flash strobe lights. Most of you who have been with me for quite some time uh, in my photography journey, I do a lot of flash wireless photography with my Sony Minolta flash setup. Wireless flash is something which I use often and having a setup which can help me utilize my wireless strobes in a softbox which can be also shared with the fluorescent bulbs. It really cuts the amount of inventory equipment that I need to carry on to bring along for my mobile studio services. I'm going to show you how it looks like. You take this off, clean it up and we put on the actual softbox to give you an idea of what this solution is all about. This is what it looks like. I'll remove all the supports. Then we'll see how it's used in the actual device. So this is the um, adapter that we have created. And this is where you're going to mount the flash. And this is where you're going to mount to the socket. So let's move, remove all the supports from the print. Chan can later clean it up more. So this is what it is. So this is how we're going to see how it works onto the bike box with the E26 socket. This is the Sony Alpha Flash which uses the original Sony Alpha mount. Um, this is the older flash so the new newer flash will be using the ISO mount. I've designed this to match my old flashes. This is the Sony Alpha mount and this is the flash itself. So we're going to insert the flash like this into the mount. Okay. So this will then go into the sock box. So this is the fluorescent um, tube box that we use for our lightweight setup. Sometimes we use our bigger strokes, but this is more of like a quick setup. So this is basically using a normal wall power point. And uh, at times we just, we just need to use strobes and if you have to have separate light boxes for this one and also for the usual flashes okay it's going to have to carry in double what i thought about is uh, to actually reduce the setup by actually adapting this onto the light so now i'll show you how it works so basically just remove the uh, light bar so you can see this is a e26 socket and this is the flash which I have mounted to the adapter with the bulb ends. So how are we going to fix it? Right, we can just mount it in here. And that's it. So basically, um, I have all the controls facing out. Then we have the light actually, um, the flash will actually bounce and disperse through the silver lining. And we have a soft cover which we will help to diffuse the light. Um, to give a very soft lighting and yeah we use we can have one or two of these for a key light then also some fill light and yeah so this actually helps us to reduce the need to bring two separate light boxes and we can utilize either the fluorescent tube and also the standard flash that we have okay so we're going to show you now the um, how to use it with our wireless flash then uh, they can give you an idea of how this setup can help us reduce our um, inventory of equipments to bring around. This is a Sony Alpha um, camera which has the uh, flash controller and the actual flash now mounted on the light box. The reason that we've been using this for last decade without any issues because it's of its, of its reliability. Yeah, here it's going to show you how it works. So basically, we just need to flick up the controller. Then we need to turn on the flash. Okay, so it's on um, wireless mode. So basically, we just need to take photos and you can see the flash actually firing wirelessly. 
this is um, how we can utilize the light box to use the light box for the fluorescent we just need to take out this uh, flash and put the light bulb in and if you need to use strobes we just need to take out the bulb and we put the um, flash strobe in so i'm going to I'll take a, a couple of photos, a, a couple of um, um, photos of myself and then portrait to just give you an idea of how the uh, wireless flash actually uh, helps in the whole setup of uh, um, our style of mobile photography. So this is the setup. Uh, we have the light box with the flash in there and we have the camera, the wireless controller. I'm just using one key light just to light up one side and we'll see um, the results. So I'm going to just press. So you can see the flash actually fired and now I'll show you the image. So you have seen it working. So I think this solution is a good solution and it helps us to reduce our uh, setup from having to carry two light boxes so we, now we can utilize one soft box and also, and also use it for both our fluorescent light and our flash strobes so i hope you like this video and if you have any questions and um, please do um, write down in the comments and uh, i should be able to make the stl file available uh, for those who are interested in trying out um, with the flashes. So at the current moment, I have it on the Sony Alpha um, older flashes mount. I might have it um, designed out for ISO mount uh, in the near future. So thank you for viewing and coming to Hunter Service Project channel. So I hope you learned something and um, yeah, so have a great day and take care. Bye -bye. See you.